Hello everyone, all who are in one body of Christ. Our Savior, welcome to this day Lord has given us together. Today we are meditating upon only God who can calm our troubled minds and bring peace to our lives. Before we start, let's see what Scripture talks about on this topic. John chapter 14, verse 27. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give you as world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Now let's see what we can learn from the verse we've just read. All of our infinite world can offer is a temporary distraction and short-term pleasures. This is the best offer our world have for us. We all know and agree that as long as we live in this world, all we continue is to have trouble. These provide a brief respite from our concerns, but they do not fill our souls with peace. Though we escape our pain and or medicate it, we must eventually come back to reality. And there we are again. We fall on our faces and again we are face to face with our external and internal storms. What we really need is what Jesus offers. Not the promise that we'll escape from trouble, but promise of peace in the midst of our tough times. Real peace. Only in God's glory we can find the perfect peace, the true peace of mind, where all of our nagging worries and what-ifs are automatically changes to the perfect deliverance. When God is with us, we have peace in our hearts, so that we aren't paralyzed by our crippling emotions. By this peace, we receive the soul to face the future with confidence. At this time, I remember the famous song, Jesus paid it all, all to him I owe. Sin had left a crimson stain. He washed it white as snow. This message also gives us a promise right here today. The promise is, I offer you peace of mind and heart. My peace is perfect and totally different than the peace this infinite world can offer. Let's close this time in prayer together. Please join me in this prayer. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, Mighty Wonderful God, I want to know the experience of your wonderful and perfect peace firsthand. Keep me from chasing after quarterfits. I don't want worldly distractions or pleasurable divisions. I want the blessedness of resting in you. In Jesus, I come to you to receive the pr- promised perfect and everlasting peace. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Have a blessed day, everyone, and if God's willing, we'll talk to you tomorrow.